And good evening again. Was it suicide or homicide? That question has left the criminal justice system broken in Brown County. The sheriff's office no longer works with the county coroner, and their dysfunction is centered around the death of this inmate. Zachary Goldson was found hanging inside the Brown County Detention Center in 2013. The coroner accuses sheriff's office employees of killing Goldson and lying about it. I-Team investigative reporter Jason Law uncovered new video tonight that answers many of the questions surrounding Goldson's death. Jason. For more than a year, the Brown County coroner has accused the sheriff's office of killing an inmate and covering it up. The I-Team viewed hours of recently released video and poured over hundreds of investigative documents. And tonight, we're going to walk you through this controversial case and show you why this brand new, never before seen video may end the controversy once and for all. Hope you like prison. <laughs> Zachary Goldson knew he was going to be locked up for a long time. Days before he attacked the deputy and tried to escape from custody, he wrote a letter home to his family, telling them he was depressed, that he was facing gun charges, and wouldn't be getting out of jail until 2022. Early in the morning, October 5th, 2013, an officer's dash cam recorded the heated exchange between police and Goldson after he assaulted Deputy Travis Justice and tried to grab his gun. Hey, what the f is wrong with you, you stupid mother f I'd like to break your neck right now. Yeah, that mother is getting a broken heart when you get to jail. We were not very nice. I'm not going to lie about it. We weren't, but we weren't abusive or anything like that. I mean, um, one of our own got hurt. Corporal Jason Huff was interviewed by state investigators hours after Goldson's death. Huff was one of four officers who carried Goldson to his cell once he was back inside the jail. This video is not new, but this video has never been released to the public until now. The I-Team obtained this surveillance video through an open records request. It shows the hallway right outside Goldson's cell. This video was one of the key pieces of evidence that cleared the sheriff's office of any criminal wrongdoing. At 2.32 a.m., corrections officer Zane Shadel and Deputy George Dunning can be seen going into the cell while Deputy Ryan Wedmore and Corporal Huff wait in the hallway. Shadle and Dunning are in Goldson's cell for 96 seconds. They exit, and according to BCI documents, the cell door remains shut for almost 24 minutes. At 2.58, Shadle and Dunning told investigators they went to look in on Goldson. I went, put the key in the door, and Zane's standing next to him, and he just he looks through the window door, and he's like, oh, shit. And then I turn and look, and I... Same thing out of my mouth. A female officer can be seen running for help. Shadle and Dunning said they cut Goldson down from a sheet tied around a sprinkler head. Goldson was pronounced dead at 3:11. Thank you, sir. In November, one month after his death, the county coroner made headlines when she accused the officers of killing Goldson and covering it up. Dr. Judith Varno's cause of death was homicide by strangulation. A year later, Ohio's Bureau of Criminal Investigation ended their probe. BCI's findings were vastly different from the coroner's. In December, after seeing all the evidence, a grand jury concluded Goldson committed suicide. I think, you know, I think you realized what he was facing after the incident. These interviews were conducted by state investigators shortly after Goldson died. Any doubt in your mind that he hung himself? Is there any reason for you to believe that anybody else would have anything to do with no, it? No, I mean, my opinion. You know, he just got in a fight with an officer. He knew he was going to get a couple more felonies. And he, he just said he had to get out. I mean, so, I mean, obviously the guy's going to be probably a little bit suicidal. Zachary Goldson had talked about killing himself before. His sister and girlfriend told investigators Goldson fantasized about getting police to shoot him in what is commonly known as suicide by cop. He wanted him to shoot him. Yeah, they wanted him to shoot him so that he didn't have to kill himself. Now, if you have questions about this case, we have answers on WCPO.com. That's where we've built an interactive timeline with all the events, all the documents that we've uncovered from this case. We've even compared the conclusions by the coroner and how their facts stand up to what BCI investigators found with the state's investigation, line by line, what really happened right now on WCPO.com. Now, to this day, the county coroner does not work with the sheriff's office. So if there's a suspicious death investigation, they actually, the county has to bring in a state investigator with BCI every single time. We saw this two weeks ago when there was an unrelated murder-suicide in Brown County. 
BCI investigators are actually called because the sheriff's office simply does not work with the coroner anymore. Mm -hmm. In fact, those officers that we showed in the video carrying Goldson back to his cell, those four officers involved have sued the coroner for defamation in federal court. This thing is a mess out in Brown County. It really, yeah, it is, really yeah. is. What does Goldson's mother say about this new evidence? Okay, Goldson's mother, Christy Dennis, believed it was suicide when she first heard about her son's death. Okay, she had accepted that it was suicide. We heard the family talk about he had talked about killing himself before. Mm -hmm. Then the coroner comes forward and starts giving her this information. And then she, you know, if you're a grieving mother, you can't help if somebody says, you know, there's information that your son may not have killed himself. She started to accept that maybe something happened inside the jail. Maybe he was killed by the employees. I called her this past week and I told her about this video that we just got in, inside the hallway. And she says, if the hallway video shows what we think it shows, which is the officers going in for a minute and a half, placing him in the cell, coming out, nobody else going in the cell and, and maybe, you know, killing him. She goes, it's tough to argue with that, that she, now she's starting to come back around that this may have just been simply mm. a sad suicide in the, in the jail. No this all may, must be hard for her, hard too. Hard for her and yeah. all around. Terrible for sad. a year and a half, yes. Yeah. All right, Jason, thank you.